All right, playing some Ace 3 VR. Um, and uh, as you notice, I'm a little low today. I'm sitting down because uh, this is probably going to take a bit of time to do. But uh, yeah, uh, just as I uh, think said in the comment of the last video, uh, Anton pushed out a fix so you can uh, do saving and loading uh, now in the, the alpha. So uh, what I thought was saving and loading, let me just uh, turn around here. Ah, man, hold on. I need to uh, turn around using this thing because I'm sitting down. I thought uh, this uh, this was going to get fixed. No, this is not the thing that was uh, getting fixed. It's actually here. So we have uh, buttons here for saving and loading scenarios. And, uh, yeah, I think they work now. Uh, that's from what I've uh, gathered from the patch, uh, the hotfix. So let me just check if... Uh, my microphone's working. Uh, I go into these things without even checking sometimes. Uh, but also, I forgot to do this. Let me just... Uh, duh, 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 duh. HD Spectator. Do head wobble. Cool. All right, so yeah, saving and loading uh, now works. So if we, if we go around and check here, as you can see, I've cleared the area. It's empty. And uh, let's load a scenario, which I saw. I saved the default one, so it says my save scenarios, and this should load like that. So that should work. Let's clean up all this stuff. So what I was gonna do today, and um, you know, I don't know why I decided to do this now, but what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to try to recreate some some courses. So uh, there's, uh, if you go online, you can probably find them. You go to IPSC or uh, US, um, USPSA, the United States uh, Practical Shooting Association, whatever it's called. Uh, they have courses that you can uh, download, the schematics for courses. So I'm going to try to do that today. And um, yeah, let me see if I can do this one. So the first one I'm going to try to do, I'm going to, well, <clears throat> I'm just going to try to do this quick and easy because uh, it's probably going to take a while, but uh, this one should be pretty easy. Uh, so the one I'm making today is uh, from the USPSA. Uh, it's for their um, classifiers, the uh, El Presidente, which is um, a pretty famous uh, shooting drill by Jeff Cooper. Uh, he's pretty much a legend in the uh, firearms community. I'm just going to stand up for a bit because... Uh, like I said, I did this pretty fast, <clears throat> so I haven't really cleaned up my room. I might bump into some things here, so hopefully I don't move, ar I move around too much. But yeah, so I'm doing the El Presidente, since that's the easiest. I do have the uh, PDF here. They come in PDFs, which is... Uh, let me just move my cable out here and move a, a bit of these chairs out of the way because uh, they're in the way. All right, I'm going to have to lean over here. You guys can't see the PDF, but I do have it open. Hopefully. Yes, I do. Okay, good. So, all right. Um, I'm debating whether I should just pause the video now and try to complete this thing or just to do it live. I think I might just do it live because, you know, that'd be a really... But at the same time, it's probably going to be a boring video. So <laughs> hopefully you guys can sit through this uh, mess I'm going to do right now. And uh, yeah, I guess we can get started. Let's pull out the toolbox. Get the toolbox out. Get all of our tools out in the wild here. And then, of course, we will get ourselves a item spawner because we don't need to use that one over there because now we have a portal one. Hopefully, I don't bump into anything. Hopefully, everything's recording properly, too, because, again, I just did this on impulse. I didn't really think about this. But I was, like I said, I was just looking at some schematics or some uh, blueprints or whatever they're called, right? Online. I was like, no, oh, maybe I can make this now since we've got the uh, item spawner. So we can put that there. Also, my room is very cold because I'm using the uh, air conditioning and it's like it's 24 degrees Celsius, but it is still blowing on me, so it's pretty cold. <laughs> but, you know, it's better than being outside right now because it's really hot. All right, so. Okay, so we need three uh, pop-up, oh, sorry, we need three targets. So let's grab ourselves some targets here. Nope, steel targets. Standing steel Ipsic, right? I think those are ones. Uh, we'll get the, um, 
We get the black ones or the red ones? It doesn't really specify color. They're just three targets, so... Let's just spawn through these. Okay. Cool. And then... All right. Let me scroll down here. Oh, you guys can't see that, but uh, yeah, it's a very large PDF. We need a box, so we're going to have to spawn a couple of um, barriers. Two feet. Two feet. Hmm. Should I do two feet? Yeah, you know what? I'm making a box, so whatever. Two, three, four. Okay. And I think that's all. Because this is, a, again, this is very simple. The El Presidente. It's, it's not that complicated. We'll need the measure riser. Measure riser. Put that one there. Oh man, it's really cold in my room. I'm shivering actually. You got the uh, air conditioner all angled so that's hitting me directly. Okay. Um, measure riser. Um, rotato would be nice. And then the uh, tractor would be good. And then the locker. Ouch. Be nice. Oh, I don't really need no clip right now, so yeah, we'll just stick that there. And let's get started. Okay, so measurement wise, we're gonna make a box. So for the shooter to stand in. So let's grab our tractor and let's just uh line it up with these uh tiles on the floor here. Actually, I need Rotato, because I need to rotate these. There go. Okay. Cool. And then I'll need Locker. Where's Locker? We'll need to lock this, so... Lock, and then... We, won't, we don't want it to move, and we don't want to move it, so... Go. That's good. Uh, tractor. Okay, so we'll move this one like that. That looks like it's pretty good. It's not going to be exact, but uh, it'll work. Locker. Okay. I'll just stick that one there. Tractor. There, okay, cool. Lock this one. So those are both locked, right? Yep, okay, cool. And then the last one, which is this one, Move that right there. Now, box, I don't know if the box is standard size move all these over here I actually want to check the document here sorry I'm gonna have to uh, scroll this down shooting box is three feet by three feet so ah, uh, you know that's that's fine right two feet two feet by two feet yeah that that's uh, that would be all right that's good enough now if I remember correctly, the measurizer is in meters, so let's see. I'm going to have to go back to my uh, high school math here, or whatever. I'm trying to remember. I think three feet equals one meter. So, yeah, right? Close enough, right? So, let's see. Got to scroll up this thing again. All right, so from the shooting line of box A to the targets, it's about 30 feet. So that should be about, oh my goodness, my math is gonna be really terrible. Uh, oh, this is terrible, I'm really bad at math, guys. So um, three feet, three feet equals one meter, right? Uh, 30 divided by 3 is 10. Wait. No. No, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Do I have to pull out a calculator for this? Oh, man. These conversions are terrible. I'm, I want to say it's three meters. I want to say it's three meters, but you know what? I want to make sure I'll pull out the calculator. Windows calculator. Save me. All right, good. Uh, let's see. I need length conversion. 30 feet. That's actually... Okay, that's nine meters. <laughs> Okay, I was wrong, but you know what? I'm glad I, I double checked that because that would have been bad. All right, so nine meters. So from the starting line here, going up. Hmm, no, it's not quite. 37 meters. So nine meters would be about. Are you? I'm not. I'm not really. Like, hold on, wait, wait. 30 feet. Nine meters. So 10 meters, right? At least 10 meters. Yeah, this is a, <laughs> again, this is, this is, this is just me being really bad at math. So let's see. It's one. That's one. It's one meter. Okay. These, okay. These squares are one meter. Okay. So yeah, I think I, I messed up already. Wait, you know what? Let's move this up. Hmm. Should I overlay it or should I do this? I'll do that. Okay, now this will be a lot easier since I can I can just uh Yeah, so nine meters, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right there. Where would nine meters be? Right here. Let's see if this works. Eight meters. Okay. All right. All right. So one one step up there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine meters. Okay. Good. All right. Um. All right, so first target. Let me actually rotate these targets. Oops. Come here. Stand in the box. Rotate ho, rotate ho. Take them this way. Sitting there in front of us. Okay. Okay, rotated and track door. So let's put this at the nine meter spot. There. Close enough. All right, that's good. All right? Uh, not exactly. I want it to be. Uh, at least to the center. Let me draw. Let me try this again. Okay, I think it should be right here. That should be straight enough. Well, that's close enough, right? Just a little bit, like right here, right? Yeah, it's about. Ten, nine meters, right? Okay, cool. Okay, that's our first target. Now, oh god, I gotta move this calculator out of the way. 
Now, in between the uh, targets, the three of them, there is a three-foot space. So, I, I remember, this, like I said, uh, three foot equals one meter, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is why, kids, you stay in school and you listen to your teachers, because then you'll have to do stuff like this, and you don't know how many feet are in a meter. So, three feet. Yeah, it's about one meter, right? Uh, not exact, but whatever. So let's figure out one meter here. Eh, close enough, 1.1, 1.01. Okay, so we got targets on either side. Let's move this over here. There. And then we have to do the other side as well. Point nine four one zero three nine eight. Oh, I'm going. Uh, where is it? Yeah, that's good enough. Ninety nine. All right, track tour. So over here, make sure that's flat to the ground, and there we go. Okay, cool. That should be the El Presidente. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna lock this. So let's lock these. Okay, lock that, lock that, and then lock that. Those are locked. There we go. So, we stand here in this box. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. I think that's I think that's how that works, right? It says thirty feet, three feet between each target. The box is two feet or three feet by. Wait, hold on. Box is three feet by three feet. Set targets to five feet high at shoulders. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Five feet. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's about, I guess that's the size, right? Okay, so, yeah. El Presidente is a 12 round, blah, blah, blah. 60 points, uh, of course. Three metric targets. Best four hits per target will score, blah, blah, blah. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Just reading through this. Standing in box A, back to targets, toes of both feet against the rear of Fault line of box A, both wrists above respective shoulders. You're going to be loaded and holstered. Oh, these are all just official rules. So basically, you shoot two rounds into each one from targets one through three. Uh, I need to spawn a gun. And you know what? Save load. Let's spawn ourselves a... Um, Alphabetical. Let's go to CZ. Uh, load. How do I load this? So oh, that's right. I do this. Right. Yep. There we go. Let's get rid of the suppressor for now. Oh, you know what? Let me save this uh, scene first. So I mean, this is uh, this is the best we can do. Uh, for now, until Anton decides to add uh, other things. Well, let's save this. L. Presidente. Scan and save new file. Confirm. All right, so this should work. So if we clean up the... Uh... Oh, well. Whoops. Okay, that's, uh... Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's reload the scene for a minute. I did save it, so it should be, uh, should be okay. Actually, I'll grab this one, too. So we'll just grab this test gun. Let's load the scenario. 
Oh, you know what? Let's clean this stuff up. There we go. Oh, that is something in my room. All right, everything has been cleaned. Let's load the scenario. Ah, yeah, okay. That's weird. It didn't quite save the uh, targets. Okay, that's, uh, yeah. I thought it saved it, but maybe I did something wrong. Yeah, that's, uh... Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe locking it was a bad thing. So, we'll do that again. The toolbox. Item spawner. Tools and toys, targets. Soup, not those targets, these targets. Something like that. I'll figure out the uh, distances in a minute. Okay, so... Maybe I shouldn't lock them that time. That would have been a bad thing. Uh, let's see. Need a measurizer. Uh, rotato. Tractor. No locking this time. Alright, so this should be... Oh, that's not right. Hmm. Was it 9 meters or 10 meters? 10 meters, right? So, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> math. Math is terrible. Oh, man, I'm so bad at math. Okay. Yeah, I think it was 10 meters. Just wanted to try this out anyway, so... To use these tools... Again, this is an alpha, so not, not everything is going to work properly. But... We will just... Have to... Do this. Make sure that is on the ground like that. Too far. That's close enough. Right there. And then... Oh, perfect. <laughs> that worked. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to lock these targets this time. Let's go back to the shooting position. 10 meters is pretty far. I really do think it's 10 meters, right? Let me just check. Yeah, it's 10 meters. <laughs> I said, what did I say, what did I say last time? Three? Uh, that was bad. I just choked, uh, you know, my math, not good. Okay, that was a wall. My control on the wall there. No, no, I want to close this. Okay, so this should be good. Let me see if I can save this. Alright, save and overwrite. Write success. Yeah, this is, this is going to be weird. Oh, nope. No, that worked. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Well, you know what? Until that gets fixed, we'll just try this out. Loaded mag. This is, oh, this is going to be terrible because, again, I don't have any space here. So, spin around. 
And then basically the, um, I think the, <clears throat> the, uh, let's see, the course is like this. Hands, uh, what is it? Hands up to, oh goodness. This thing's in the way. Sorry about that. Oh, it's in the way for me. Uh, both wrists above shoulders. And then guns loaded, ready to go. I don't want to hit anything. Okay. And then, on start signal, on box A only, turn, then draw, engage, targets one, two, three, with only two rounds per target. Make mandatory reload, then engage targets one, two, three, with only two rounds per target. So, basically, you start, you turn around, take your gun out. Reload. I think that's how it goes. So, yeah. There you go, El Presidente. Um... We don't really have a timer or like uh, anything that, like that for right now. I think Anton's working one, but there's also a mod out there. Uh, unfortunately, mods are uh, kind of broken right now on the, uh, I think, Alpha Branch, even. I'm not so sure. I haven't touched mods in a long time, but uh, yeah, we should, you know, one of these days get a, um, a uh, shot clock, whatever, with all the new systems coming out. But uh, yeah, there you go. El Presidente. That's the, that's the easy one. Just need to make a box, decently spaced target, and um, yeah. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I don't think the save load scenario is kind of like perfect right now. But having it on the wrist menu is pretty cool. So, see, I mean, all I can do is that if I want to save something, I can just uh, save it here. And then I can load something as well. But uh, that default one is the one I made just to test out the uh, system. But that's how that works, and uh, we can now practice. Be really, uh, I think it would be better if, no, no, no. Yeah, we need to do mandatory reload, right? Yeah, so. Yeah, just use up the ammunition for right now. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that's how you create uh, stuff now. Which uh, I'm just gonna have fun. Uh, I'm gonna have a little fun shooting these targets. Thumb. Ah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Just a second. My thumb is just. Ah. Uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. One more. Cool. Now the ultimate test would be that if I uh, if I do save this, let me just try again. Let me just save overwrite. And uh, yeah, well, we'll see how this goes. Let's reload the scene one more time. Clean up this. Uh, grab these just in case. Oops. All right. Clean up the stuff. Clean all spawnable. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is probably not gonna work, but. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, 
<laughs> it saved all the magazines on the uh, ground there. It just didn't save the targets, which uh unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, I think I might have to delete that. Well, you know what? Hold on. I need to clean up all mags. There we go. <laughs> well, I guess I'll save this scenario for right now. Until that gets fixed um, later on, then uh, no saving and loading right now. So I guess this uh, video was kind of a bust, uh, to be honest. I was going to go and try to do... Um, Trying to do other courses, but since the saving and loading is not quite there yet, I'll have to do that in another day. But yeah, uh, you know what? I just want to shoot some guns. It's a good day to just mess around. Let's uh, grab ourselves a. Uh, you know what? Okay, hold on. Before we do anything, just grab this. So I don't know how this course works. I think I can perform a walkthrough. Is that what they're calling it? But, uh, yeah, so we go through this one. Shoot all targets here. And then maybe go to this one, right? So we start there. Go to this one. Shoot it. Go to this next one. Shoot these targets. I think the red ones you shoot, right? Blue ones are no shoot. Go to this one, shoot those targets. And go to this one and shoot those targets, right? So, something like that. This so will just do a simple. Oops. Go here. Reload. I should reload then before I get to this uh, this entrance. Oh, that's right. I don't have any room in my room. I have to clean up all this stuff. Every time I go into VR, I have to clean up my room and move things around so I have space. Uh, walls right here. I can't can't hit that okay so so basically go here shoot these targets shoot this one Shh. actually since I do have like one bullet extra in the chamber right as I reloaded I did a tactical reload go to this one go to this one Reload. <laughs> All right, yeah, I missed those. I uh, missed that last target a couple times, but yeah. All right. I'm not going to do this at, at full speed because I'm, again, room is a little full with stuff, so. Well, you know, we'll just try it. Oh, man, whatever. I messed up. Terrible. Okay. Usually the gun would be like in a holster or something. And then you say go, grab the gun. Oh, I, yeah, that happens. You need to lock these. But that's, uh, yeah, that's how you do that. Oh, when this uh, when this system gets all, you know, finalized and stuff, creating courses is going to be pretty pretty cool. Just from the, the example I did today with the uh, El Presidente, it's actually, it's pretty easy. So, I think the measurizer could use a... Um, a way to, um, whatchamacallit, there needs to be a way to drag, like, uh, you know, 
drag points so you don't have to delete and then redo it every time because that gets kind of that gets kind of annoying when you got to do that but yeah that's the one thing that needs to change and um yeah the uh, what else needs uh fixing um for the rotato i think uh what a good way would be because every time you have to use uh if every time you want to use uh or sorry you want to rotate another object you have to click the x here which i think um i think it makes it a little awkward to be completely honest uh, i just want to like you know i i want to i want to rotate this and then just move on to the next one but i can't until i click this x so that would be uh one thing that i'd like to see uh, although i don't know if that's possible hmm Tractor's fine. It's uh, actually pretty easy to to work with. Just move things around, and then you can, you know, change uh, distance. So that's okay. Uh, I didn't really see any uh, uh, any problems with that. As far as the item spawner goes, I, I think it's pretty good. I mean, for me personally, I can see I can see a lot of the um, stuff here just by visuals alone. But I can understand some people, it might be a little too small, so I, I know Anton said he was working on that. Might have to, uh, the option of making it bigger. But for me personally, I mean, you know, as long as the uh, as long as the pictures are uh, pretty good, uh, you know, I'm fine with that. So the item spawner, not, not much about to say about that. Uh, it's just those uh, couple of tools. Yeah, the Measurizer and um, Rotato, I think, uh, for me personally, are the two things that have a little need little tweaks, right? Especially um, Rotato, because that just that would make uh, things a lot more easy if you can just select something else without having to cancel. See, I want to like, for example, I want to rotate after I rotated this one, you know. I want to move to this target and rotate it, but do that. <clears throat> so, that, you know, little things like that. And, of course, the measurizer. Way to edit points would be nice. Um, what else for the measurizer? I think that's about it for that one. Huh. Unless somebody else has better ideas. Probably do, but... Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you know. And like I said, I was going to do something else with this video today, but uh, apparently the uh, the saving and loading uh, isn't uh, quite there yet, so I'll just have to put that on hold for next time. But... Oh my goodness, why am I missing that target? Small one. Small popper. Actually, there was a target here I wanted to check out. Give me the toolbox over here. Item spawner. Tools and toys. Uh, let's see. Targets. Hmm. I just wanted to check that out for a minute. Got some plates. Oh, that's nice. Especially with the new tools. But I wanted to spawn this. And then... Potato. That. I just wanted to, I just wanted to shoot at this target first.
get into that rhythm. All right, well, yeah, there's not really much I can do right now because of the saving and loading issues, but yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, just uh, seeing if that actually is feasible and uh, pretty much is. So if you have any like uh, diagrams or courses that you want to put in the game, uh, when Game Planner comes out fully, this will probably be like, you know, like a really cool thing to do. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. I was gonna, I was planning on doing some more, but uh, well, maybe next time. So I will see you guys next time.